Hello and welcome to this 12th Advanced Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to let your player lose lives by hitting into enemies and also how the player can lose by losing two lives and also how they can restart once they've lost all those lives. Now I have to say I've been having some problems recording the audio and I originally uploaded this tutorial and it didn't have any sound so I'm currently re-recording it um, but I'm still having some problems and I'm just trying to get what you can see on screen so sorry for some pauses anyway so we need to detect if the enemy is touching the image of the player so to do that we're going to have an if images collide statement and we're going to test the enemy which we are testing so whichever enemy is the case in the select we're going to use that image so in this case it's spider1 at enemy x pos, y pos, comma zero because it's got no frames, and then also the character, the character's x and y positions and its frame. Uh, all of these different uh, variables you'll see elsewhere. For instance, when we're drawing the character, so you copy and paste those. Okay, so within this um, statement, if they do collide, would you make the health go down by one? So health equals health minus one. Um, however, we don't want the player to be able to lose life when they have already lost the game, so we're going to only allow that if health is bigger than zero, otherwise you won't be able to lose any lives because you'd be able to go into negatives and we don't want. So now, another problem is that if the player just lost a life, they'll still be in their place, they'll still be colliding with the enemy. They just keep on losing lives and us. So every time that the player loses a life, we're going to respawn it back in the center of the screen. So after its health gone by one, we're going to make the exhibition reset back to center of the screen, which we declared at the start in the variable. So you can just copy and paste the X and Y section. So the player goes in, in back into the center of the screen across X and the Y. However, sometimes there might be an enemy actually in the center of the screen. So if the player respawns there, it will be touching with a spider, so it will have unnecessarily lost another life. So we're going to have another if images collide statement, which will be exactly the same, except now the player will be in the center of the screen, so we're just testing that to make sure that there's actually an enemy in the center of the screen. And if there is an enemy at the center of the screen, we're not going to respawn the player there. We're either going to respawn... respawn 150 pixels above that or 150 pixels below that. So we're going to have a just randomly select that. We're going to, um, if random one out of two is one, then we're going to move the player up the screen. Otherwise, we're going to move the player down just so that it doesn't respawn where there's a spider because otherwise they just lose another lap. So save that and now. With this section of code, we can apply this onto all of the different spiders. So we will copy that for all of the different cases and then be sure to change the different image parameters. So in the case 2, we'll change it to spider 2. And for case 3, we'll change it to spider 3. And you also need to do this for the um, if collision statement within the if collision statement, as I explained before. Okay. So now we are going to make sure that when the player dies, it isn't displayed on screen anymore. So in the f draw character function, we're going to say if health is bigger than zero, then we're going to draw the image. Otherwise, we're going to say that you've died. So after the else, uh, we're going to put the text at 20, comma zero. So it's at the top, in the middle. It's going to say you died. Too bad you can put whatever text you want there. And then we're going to center that text in the middle of the screen 
and you do this by at the end of a text statement you put a comma number comma number it can be zero or one and um, we've got comma one so that means it's centered at the w at the x and comma for the y means it's not centered at the y so if it was drawn at 320 without it being centered the text would start at the middle of the screen but would be slightly offset so if you put the comma one after the text and it makes sure that your words are nicely put displayed in the center of the screen and then beneath that I'm going to say press enter to restart and again the center it on the x-axis but we want it to start just below at 10 by default the text is about 10 pixels along the y-axis okay so I'm just now changing some of the X and Y positions because I typed them incorrectly before so there was a problem so now I've made sure it's uh, the enemy, enemy, X enemy which was typed incorrectly before so just make sure your code's the same as mine with any changes I do you put on yours okay so there I showed that when you do die your character disappears it says restart and that the text isn't centered you'll see that it is slightly offset so that's why we center the text and here it is centered so now you see there was an enemy in the center of them so my play didn't respawn back in the center because otherwise they would have lost another life and so instead it respawned slightly above the text and there you have it but you can still shoot even when you're dead so what we need to do is only make certain functions applicable for we're live so we're going to say in the while loop we're going to say if the health is bigger than zero then we're allowed to fire arrows move the map move the characters and then you end that if statement so now as soon as you die you cannot manipulate your character or anything that you could do before then and then we're going to say at the end of the while statement if your health's less than one and you press enter which is the key 28 as you should know from the command reference and scan codes in interactive so if your character's died and you press enter then what we're going to do is make the variable restart equal 1 and this means it will go through and start the level again and reset variables and we're going to set level off or level repeat to the current level so when you repeat the game and it resets the variables it will store your current level and then once we press enter we want to exit that main loop so we back to the start again and refresh all the variables so we don't want to be stuck in this main loop of the game so once you get out of that loop and while the program ends, we're going to say that we will go to the start. So we type uh, go to start, or there it says dot start, that's typing error, I'll correct that later. Um, as I remember, I made that mistake at the time. But you declare the label as dot start. So if after we've loaded in all the maps you say dot start so if you, wherever you say go to start it will go to that place so after you've um, you're going to restart it will take you back to refresh all the variables but we don't want to go back to the first level we're going to try and load the last level you had so if level R is bigger than zero which means if it's already stored the level then we're going to say your level is that level we stored. Otherwise, by default, it's going to be put on level 1, which basically means it's the first time you've run the game. So we're going to start you at the first level. And if level R has a value, it means you've already played it, and we're going to take you back to that level. And above the character variables, we will say that if restart equals 1 then read info equals 0 so that means we're not going to load 
all of the levels again. So the first time you run it, it reads all of the data for the levels. But once you've already played the game and you're restarting, you don't we don't need to load that in again, so we're gonna say read info equals zero if you're restarting. That's used the restart variable. And as you can see here, you can't have a global after you've already said the variable before. So we said level equals one and now we're trying to declare that variable as a global. So you need to put the global before any time that you use the variable in the code. So here I'm just moving it above the if loop. So now it says duplicate variable uh, label, which is the problem I said before. After the main loop it said dot start, but it's supposed to be go to start because we've already declared the label higher up in the code there and we actually want to say go to there. So go to start, which is the command for labels. There's also go sub and you can find out what that means if you're interested. It's very similar except once you've gone to that label you jump back to where you said the go sub. So that's what it means. Okay, now I'm just playing it and I've got a score. Oh no, he got me. Let try running away. Okay, I'm on two health. Oh no, what a shame. I've respawned back in the middle of the screen. Okay, now I've died. Now when I press enter, it should take me back into the game. And I think your score goes back to zero. But you stay on the same level. But I didn't get 20 levels, so it doesn't really show you here. And now we only want you to be able to restart, uh, to go back to the start if restart equals 1. Because otherwise, when you try and press escape, you'll never be able to end the game because it's always going to go back to the start so we we're only going to go back to the start if you actually said you want to restart the game because when it says while hit one you press escape it takes you out of that loop and then it goes to end but we put a go to the start in between that so it would always go back to the start so now it'll only go back to the start if you've said you want to restart the game by pressing enter and we have said before the main loop that restart equals zero, so each time you've restarted the game, it needs to keep the restart as one, so it puts it back to zero in case you then want to press escape and leave the game. Okay, that concludes this tutorial, and in the next tutorial, I will be building more upon this game, so just click the um, link if you've got anything labelled and thank you for being patient and waiting for this if you had saw the original tutorial 12 with no audio so thank you um, to like, comment and subscribe